So this video is going to be geared towards newer people that don't really understand the Bitcoin having. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain pretty much everything you really need to know about the Bitcoin having. Super simple, super easy to understand and why it's so important to own a certain amount of Bitcoin, which I will get to in the middle and again at the end of the video. If you guys are new to Bitcoin or crypto as a whole, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, shout out to Coin Codex for putting this article together. I actually came across it online. I skimmed through it and it gives great pointers on the having. So it's super important, especially if you're new to the space, to listen to this. According to current estimates, the next Bitcoin halving is expected to happen in the third week of April, with most estimates predicting it will occur on April 20th. Most Bitcoin investors get very excited about the Bitcoin halving, which happens approximately every four years. When a Bitcoin halving happens, the Bitcoin block reward is decreased by half. The block reward is received by the miner that adds the next block to the Bitcoin blockchain, and it is the only way in which new BTC coins are created. Now, the key highlights here, the next Bitcoin halving expected to take place on April 20th will reduce the block reward from 6.25 to 3.125 Bitcoin per block. Historical data shows Bitcoin price has typically been higher at each subsequent halving with significant fluctuations between cycles. In the past cycles, Bitcoin reached the highest value 6 to 12 months after each halving. And that is a very good key fact to know. The halving process will continue until all 21 million Bitcoins are mined with 29 more halvings anticipated after 2024. So now right here, this is an entire block reward reduction after the halvings list, okay? They tell you exactly where Bitcoin was back in 2009 when it actually started, 50 Bitcoin per block, then it went down to 25, 12 and a half, 6.25, 3.125 then 1.56 then 0 0.7 0 0.3 0 0.1 and then it literally just goes into decimals okay and if you guys don't know there are 1 million satoshis inside one bitcoin so bitcoin is technically divisible by a million just fun fact for you and then if you guys look over here bitcoin the last bitcoin to be mined is estimated by the year 2140 over 99 percent of bitcoins will be mined and the reward will diminish to a point where it becomes negligible so now that we know the halvings are every single four years it says every halving therefore reduces the amount of new bitcoin entering circulation which is seen as a positive by existing bitcoin holders this is because halvings reduce the bitcoin inflation rate and also reduce the amount of potential selling pressure from bitcoin miners the Bitcoin halving in 2024 will reduce the block reward from the current 6.25 Bitcoin per block to 3.125 Bitcoin per block. So far, we have had three Bitcoin halvings. The first happened in November 2012, and the second happened in July 2016, and the third happened in May 2020. As for future Bitcoin halving dates, we can estimate that they will happen, but can't predict them with complete accuracy and they'll get into why as you can see this little chart it shows you 50 25 12 6.25 and 3.125 in 2024 now it says this is because the bitcoin protocol is designed so that the block reward is reduced by half every 210,000 blocks while the bitcoin protocol targets a 10 minute block time the time it actually takes to add a new block to the bitcoin blockchain varies on a block by block basis if the blocks are added too quickly, the difficulty of mining automatically increases. If the blocks are added too slowly, the difficulty decreases. These difficulty adjustments happen every 2016 blocks, which translates to approximately every two weeks. At the time of writing, most estimates suggest the next Bitcoin halving date is in the third week of April 2024, more specifically sometime around April 20th. Even though it's impossible to predict the exact amount of time it will take to add blocks to the Bitcoin blockchain, we can still get a pretty accurate estimate of when the next Bitcoin halving will happen. The closer we get to the halving, the more accurate the estimates will be at the moment the exact time for the halving is estimated approximately midday UTC on April 20th. So now you can see this is the Bitcoin rainbow chart or so they call it. It says, as we can see from the updated version of the Bitcoin rainbow chart, the three past Bitcoin halvings happened when the BTC price was relatively low. If this trend were to continue, 
we would see the current crypto bear market extend into the first half of 2024 and we would expect the trend to start reversing in the second half of 2024 the next bitcoin having could play an important role in the recovery of the crypto market you guys could see right here haven't even gotten to the high point on this chart where you could see we have touched it time and time again a little bit after each having so this is again why we are still early here and you guys could see the gains right from down here 2009 when this thing had its first having things went crazy okay the adoption had to start somewhere the gains are obviously going to be greater at the beginning and they're going to reduce as time goes on but the biggest thing about bitcoin and things you guys need to understand is like if you look at the u.s debt clock right like over here look at our national debt okay we're never going to get out of debt they're just going to continue to print money and it's going to devalue your currency right doesn't matter where you are every place on the planet can control their own currency so you're going to be losing value as you exist over time things are going to get more expensive you're going to get paid less bitcoin as a whole nobody can control it and not everybody in the world can own at least one that's why owning one bitcoin is like super crucial and you're going to be like top tier of the world if you guys can own at least one bitcoin i know seventy thousand dollars at the time of recording isn't very uh you know feasible for most people but let's do this right again looking back over here the world's population according to this uh worldometer whatever this is 8 billion people in the world right so if we just take a calculator okay there's only ever going to be 21 million bitcoin so we'll put 21 million bitcoin here we're going to divide this by the 8 billion people in the world 249000 okay i know it's more than that but you get my gist 0 0.002 bitcoin if you own more than 0 0.002 bitcoin that is more than anybody on the planet can physically ever own okay there's not enough to go around there isn't they say there's five to seven million lost from old hard drives old pcs people that minded back in the day that didn't give a shit and just thought it was going to go nowhere and yeah so i mean we realistically we probably have about 16 17 million to fight over and that's it there's really not that much around considering so over time this having is super significant for bitcoin as i've already shown it's going to go down to decimals after the last having right the last having is like 2140 or something crazy but it's it literally starts up here and goes down here like we are only on having number four or five technically i guess no it's the fourth having but technically the fifth step in the process um we're going down we're going down the the list of 34 and we are only at four you understand how early we are so if you guys think you're late you're not all right, so now I kind of want to switch gears and go into the mining segment of things. I know a lot of you guys are miners that watch this channel. So yes, the Bitcoin having is going to have an effect on Bitcoin miners, right? This is mine, the ASIC, no affiliation at all, but I'm just going to choose Bitcoin right here. So it kind of highlights all the Bitcoin miners. Now, there's one thing I think a lot of people forget to, uh, I guess, comprehend that bitcoin miners aren't just bitcoin miners they're sha-256 miners so anything that's on that algorithm can actually be mined as of right now you can see digibyte is actually more profitable than mining bitcoin if you click into any of these units this top one the s21 hydro right you can look and see that the right here uh sha-256 digibyte right 47 dollars a day bitcoin is only at 3721 so it is literally ten dollars more to mine digibyte as of right now and i personally think that if digibyte can hold its price up the fact that we're going through the halving we shouldn't be very affected on a mining standpoint with profitability because you guys could just go right over to digibyte or some other coin right like even bch right because bitcoin will drop below bch at one point with uh profitability right after the having right B bch just went through its having and it actually pushed up higher so right now we're at 36 bucks worst case you guys go mine bitcoin cash right so there's other options out there these miners aren't dead i don't want you guys to panic the having is a good thing it makes bitcoin more scarce it's going to basically drive the price up over time and that's what we want we need bitcoin to continue to push that way we can actually have generational wealth 
within our bags. So the main reason I made this video is I want you guys to understand how scarce Bitcoin actually is and how much there is to go around for the amount of people in the world that there are, right? To get to that 0.0025 mark or the 0.003 mark at the time of recording, Bitcoin's at about $71,000. You're looking at roughly 215 bucks, which in the grand scheme of things isn't much to make sure you're on the cutting edge of more than what normal people could actually own. Because you got to think about people that actually have one full coin or people that have had thousands of coins from back in the day. That takes that number even down lower than what everybody in the world can actually own. So you guys take that as you will. This is not financial advice. It's just what I wanted to put forth and give you guys some sort of like knowledge in this aspect. If you learned something today, I would love if you guys could hit that like button, consider subscribing and share the video if it was educational. And until next time, I will catch you guys real soon. Peace out.